Chapter Thirty Five of Moral Letters, Volume One by Seneca, translated by Gummier. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Thirty Five On the Friendship of Kindred Minds. When I urge you so strongly to your studies, it is my own interest which I am consulting. I want your friendship, and it cannot fall to my lot unless you proceed as you have begun with the task of developing yourself for now although you love me you are not yet my friend but you reply are these words of different meaning nay more they are totally unlike in meaning footnote the question of lucilius represents the popular view which regards love as including friendship but according to seneca it is only the perfect love from which all selfishness has been removed that becomes identical with friendship and footnote a friend loves you of course but one who loves you is not in every case your friend friendship accordingly is always helpful but love sometimes even does harm try to perfect yourself if for no other reason in order that you may learn how to love hasten therefore in order that while thus perfecting yourself for my benefit you may not have learned perfection for the benefit of another to be sure i am already deriving some profit by imagining that we too shall be of one mind and that whatever portion of my strength has yielded to age will return to me from your strength although there is not so very much difference in our ages but yet i wish to rejoice in the accomplished fact we feel a joy over those whom we love even when separated from them but such a joy is light and fleeting the sight of a man and his presence and communion with him affords something of living pleasure this is true at any rate if one not only sees the man one desires but the sort of man one desires give yourself to me therefore as a gift of great price and that you may strive the more reflect that you yourself are mortal and that i am old hasten to find me but hasten to find yourself first make progress and before all else endeavor to be consistent with yourself and when you would find out whether you have accomplished anything consider whether you desire the same things today that you desired yesterday a shifting of the will indicates that the mind is at sea heading in various directions according to the course of the wind but that which is settled and solid does not wander from its place this is the blessed lot of the completely wise man and also to a certain extent of him who is progressing and has made some headway now what is the difference between these two classes of men the one is in motion to be sure but does not change its position it merely tosses up and down where it is the other is not in motion at all farewell end of chapter thirty five